Uh, so hey guys welcome back to an editing tutorial with lost Art. today we'll be editing this portrait of my model which was taken in montreal uh, so since i'm shooting for instagram i love to crop first so we're just going to crop it to the format 4.5 and make sure your picture is like st well straight into your liking basically uh, and here i'm just going to come and apply my tone curve but don't worry about it i'll be doing a tutorial how to uh, use the tone curve so just stay tuned uh, right now you can see there's like too many highlights and everything i don't really like it so we're just going to bring down the light a little bit here and you can really see how the composition is really coming out and the face is really looking good um after that we're just going to come uh, and cool the picture down a little bit just to bring a good texture to the skin uh you see the greens behind here i don't really like it so i'm just going to come here to colors and i'm going to bring down the saturation all the way down and we're going to come up here into the tint and we're just going to climb a bit of the purple here uh here it kind of looks okay uh so the clarity usually i love playing a little bit with it but i don't love going above so here at 21 should be okay uh, the vibrant i think i'm just going to leave it like that uh, i'm going to come here to sharpening and i'm just going to bring it all the way to 70 i advise you not to go above that because when exporting your pictures for instagram you get really really soft and the noise reduction it's also good to soften the image and make the model's skin look soft and really nice so i'm just going to bring it all the way to 40. uh usually i love applying the grains but this picture i just want to kind of leave it clean and here i kind of feel like i overcooled it down like i felt like the skin is a bit too whitish to my taste so i'm just going to warm it up a little bit but i'll take care of what i'm doing uh, here it kind of looks okay to my liking uh, so you can see the eyes are a bit like really dark so we're going to lighten that up a little bit so you just kind of press here and zoom like one on one and we're going to come to dodge lighten here you just pass it around the eyes but don't overdo it and make sure you stay within what you're doing and if you want to see what you're doing you can come up here and show selected mask over layer and so it helps you stay within the line usually i advise using a tablet while um, when using brushes for specific things because right now i'm using my mouse and you can see how the accuracy is really bad usually i use the wacom tablet but here you can see what i've done so it just helps you to keep in track um, so here i kind of lighten the eyes but you don't want to overdo it still because it's just going to look like weird so right now it's, al it's always good to also see what you're doing so you can see what you can fix and what you uh, you should leave it so here it kind of looks okay so here you can see that a little bit of dots on the face like pimples and some stains i don't like so we're just going to come up here to the healing brush basically what healing does is just like clear out the spot usually um photoshop healing brush is probably the best thing to use when editing but lightroom is just like a fast it's like just fast i don't know it's like the mcdonald's of the healing brush basically <laughs> you just want it really done fast it's no serious work it's just for instagram you like you don't want to go like all crazy about it you know uh, but if it's a contract or something more professional i'll kind of go for photoshop definitely but when it's just for fun i go for lightroom and lightroom is not that bad it's just like compared to photoshop i mean photoshop is the boss so here you can see what it's doing i'm just clearing all the the little stains and everything you might tell yourself oh it's just this little dot but a lot of little dots on the face just makes the picture really like um it makes the face really rough and everything so just take your time and go on all the spots but i'm kind of lucky my model has like a really nice and smooth face she doesn't have a lot of um dots and pimples to edit so 
after you're done like uh, doing the whole healing if you're not too satisfied you can come up here to um, skin retouch skin basically uh, just boost a bit the clarity a little bit up because when too much clarity just makes the face look too much soft and you don't want the model to have like that kind of soft face and you still want her to recognize herself in the picture so i'm just going to show you guys what it does here usually what i love doing i love lightening it a little bit so it just brings down the sh it brings up the shadows and makes the face really look smooth uh, so here we're going to be passing the brush and you can see how it's lightening you can see around the mouth here how it's lightening uh, sorry for the lack of precision I don't have my tablet here with me um, but here you can really see what I'm doing like you can really see how the face is really like being soft and being lightened and it's make and it makes it really looks good so i'll just kind of pass it all over here and i'll show you guys like um, the final result and that's why i always say photoshop is always winning because when it comes here to the hairs and everything i feel like photoshop has more accuracy and this is where i'm going to tell you guys again use a tablet because you can see how i'm passing my my brush on the hairs normally i'm not supposed to be doing that uh, but i hope you guys forgive me <laughs> uh, so here we're just going to come up here and you can really see like i feel like okay i overdid it so when you feel like you overdid it just bring up a bit the clarity because usually it's clarity that controls that softness and we're just going to bring down a bit the noise and you can see this little dot i don't like so when i edit the face i do a lot of back forward between um, the brush and the healing brush so here it kind of looks okay to be honest i don't want to go like all crazy about it it looks pretty decent so i hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial and don't forget to subscribe and follow me on instagram uh, bye see you next time